CCSD educators are always looking for new ways to connect with students. As Kate Cridland reports, for one North Las Vegas teacher, it was as easy as introducing herself through a picture book. What's in a name? For Akua Moses, an educator at Dickens Elementary School, it's the foundation for allowing students to be heard in the classroom. Because our name is our identity. It's who we are. It's what we love most about ourselves. And it could be that name could either be a positive or it could be that your name has something negative towards it. And we don't want that. For Moses, the connection she makes with her students and their names hits close to home. By the first day of school when the teacher called the roll, if the teacher made an effort to ask me my name, I knew that it was going to be great. If they took their time to pronounce it, it was going to be an amazing year. But sometimes I would encounter a teacher who would say, oh, I can't say this name. Do you have a nickname? And that would crush me. And I just knew that I wanted to make sure kids knew that it's okay to love your name and embrace your name. And that initial connection is everything. In fact, it was a motivating factor in Moses adding a title to her own name. And that title, author. So my name is an address is a book that is close to my heart. Uh, the idea came from growing up in a small town with my name. I had a lot of teachers and students who couldn't pronounce my name. And it was really difficult sometimes for me growing up correcting people and knowing how to explain the concept of my name. And sometimes I was ashamed of it. Sometimes I was embarrassed. I chose to write a picture book and I wanted to share with kids around the world, families around the world, to know that names are special. Names have so much meaning to them from history and language and culture and family and all of those things. The importance of connecting with her students in a way that goes beyond the classroom isn't lost on Moses. The student connection is amazing when they find out that I'm an author. And then when I show them my book, they're like, you wrote that? How did you do that? That's amazing. Is that really you? Is that you when you were a baby? And they'll point and they'll ask questions and then they want to know more. And so it's just amazing when they can see themselves inside of a book. Because we know that books, as Dr. Rudine Sims Bishop says, are windows to see others. They're mirrors to see yourself. And they're even sliding glass doors that you can walk into that story and experience it. So it's everything. Thank you so much, Kate. You can learn more about the book My Name is an Address by visiting the website on your screen.